I think that it's important that everyone knows that this can happen. She got fully vaccinated, then she got COVID-19 again. On Monday, we told you about that Central Texas woman situation. We wanted to find out how many others had a similar experience. KXAN's Bahira Rahman looked over the data from state and Travis County leaders to see how they're tracking these cases. For me, the past year has been incredibly scary. Katherine Wicker has lived with multiple chronic health conditions for almost 20 years. You never know with people if they could be carrying COVID, if they were asymptomatic. Being fully vaccinated now makes her feel safer, but she's still listening to health leaders, masking up and limiting her social interactions. Nothing is 100% effective. We get the flu vaccine every year. We know it's not 100%, but what it does is it makes the symptoms a lot less severe. Infection after vaccination can happen, although it is rare. The state health department says so far there have been 13 coronavirus cases like this. That's out of nearly 3 million Texans who are currently fully vaccinated. During the case inv investigation process, they would find out and typically see that someone has been vaccinated against COVID um, and then they're 14 days past receiving vaccination because that's really when vaccination takes its full efficacy. APH tracks it a little differently. They tell us there have been 12 people in Travis County who have either gotten COVID-19 after their vaccines or have contracted the virus twice. They say overall new cases are decreasing. We are seeing numbers of new cases decline and we hope it stays that way. Bahira Rahman, KXAN News. DSHS reminds people vaccines never offer complete immunity, so a small number of what they term breakthroughs are expected. Experts say immunity depends on the way a person's body responds to a vaccine. DSHS explains that it typically takes longer for people who are older to build up immunity after being vaccinated. The agency says all three COVID-19 vaccines available in Texas are proven to prevent severe illness, hospitalization, and death among people who are fully vaccinated.